it's Lorna Wagner from Maritime UK here um, and I have Rebecca with me. Afternoon Rebecca. Good afternoon. So Hi. Rebecca, can you tell me your name, who you work for and your job title please? Okay, so I'm Rebecca Pengelly and I work for Associate British Ports um, on the Humber and my job title is a Port Marine Operations Officer Apprentice. Wow, that's quite a long job title, isn't it? It is, yeah. <laughs> OK, we've got five questions, so let's go. What drew you to the maritime sector? Well, originally it wasn't just the maritime sector that I was looking at because um, I've had a full time job for about nine years before doing this apprenticeship and I was looking for something different um, something that was more varied because I was doing an office job before and when I saw this one um, on Indeed I believe it was um, it just seemed so varied there was indoor jobs outdoor jobs it covered so many different departments that it was just something that really interested me at the time Good. and still does. <laughs> so how long have you been on your apprenticeship? Uh, it started August 2019, um, right. so I'm in my second year, about 18 months in. And how long have you got to go? Uh, about another 18 months. Wow, that's a long apprenticeship. It is. <laughs> okay, right, I'm, I'm, I'm asking you lots of extra questions, that's really naughty. So, <laughs> you've talked to us about being an apprentice and how you came into the sector, so we're going to say that question two has been answered as well. What's your career goal, Rebecca? Where do you see yourself in the future? Um, at the moment, obviously due to COVID and things, we haven't really been able to see all the different departments that we will be able to go in. Um, so at the moment, I am just keeping an open mind because um, I've got quite a lot of departments to go into, um, such as VTS um, with the ADMs and things like that. So I'm just at the moment keeping an open mind, but obviously I would like to stay at AVP in the future. Can you tell us, for people that don't understand what a VTM is? Uh, sorry, VTS, uh, Vehicle Tra Vessel Traffic Services. Ah, now that sounds exciting. <laughs> Hopefully, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to going to all the different departments really, because we get to go on pilot launches, um, hydrography on the dredges and basically all things port operative really. Um, so I'm looking forward to when things start to go back to normal, hopefully, um, to sort of get through all of the attachments and see where I want to go really. Fantastic. So who would you say has been the most important person in your journey so far and why? Uh, well, right at the beginning, probably my mum, because um, I have two dogs and obviously going full time um, to an apprenticeship and we had to go to South Shields Marine School for about nine months. So she was very supportive in obviously looking after them and actually if it wasn't for her, I probably wouldn't have been able to start the apprenticeship. Um, since we come back from college last March, um, I'd say my mentor that I was allocated, Glyn, uh, he's been very good uh, helping me work through my apprentice book and showing me everything to do with like lock operations and um, all the guys on my shift really that I was on, showing me how to do things and how to steer the mooring boat and things like that. So all of them really. Are they mostly male, Rebecca? Um, at work they are pretty much all male yeah there's a few higher up there we've just got a new um, assistant harbour master and she's a female and um, but that's out of everyone that I've met so far it's very male orientated oh, well well done you're crashing through barriers there. <laughs> so just thinking back to when you were 16 what advice would you give your 16 year old self if you could I would say definitely look into apprenticeships um, straight out of college, whether it's this apprenticeship or any apprenticeship really, because um, I didn't know what I wanted to do when I was 16. I still 100% don't know what I want to do. Um, so I would say, because I wasted quite a lot of time at sixth form, I wasted a year there, I wasted a year at college, and obviously I got a full-time job at college, and then obviously nine years later, trying something different so I would say to go straight for an apprenticeship um because at least then you don't have you haven't had the money so apprenticeship wage isn't that big big a deal um so I think that's probably what I would tell myself is to go straight for an apprenticeship brilliant thank you so much that was fantastic thank you